Hi guys, welcome back. In this third episode, we're moving towards Formula One and it's going to be a Ferrari transporter. I did a 164 in my first uh, episode. The second one was a 118 and this one today is a 143. It's a Ferrari transporter from the year 2000, the year Ferrari made a comeback into Formula One after nearly two decades and Michael Schumacher won the world championship. Let's take a look at this transporter. This is made by a company called Old Model. They're a family owned uh, and run business establishment in Italy. And they make a lot of transporters. They make a lot of trailers. They make some construction equipment among other scale models. And the reason I picked this particular Ferrari transporter, of course, there aren't too many Ferrari transporters out there. But the main reason I picked this transporter among others that were available is because this entire uh, casting is metal. This is metal. This is metal. And it's one of the few transporters out there that is completely metal. And that's some, and it's really solid. That's something I really like about this transporter. Now with old model, the castings, um, are factory produced, but they are assembled and finished by hand. That is each and every model is assembled and finished by hand. So they're unique in their own way. Each and every model is different. Now this model can be disassembled like this and like I said earlier, this is solid. It it uh, weighs quite a bit and it's fully metal. That's how the top looks. It's a double axle, as you can see. And there you have it, old model made in Italy. One is 43. Okay, so the back on this transporter does open. This is not an auto art, so don't expect some mini hatches uh, over here. It's a little crude, but um, I guess the plus point is that uh, this isn't going to break no matter what. So that's how you open it out and this can actually move up. So it sits there and that's how it looks. It's a little crude, like I said, but it does the job. Now, a minus point is that I would have actually liked uh, to have seen some plastic tail lamps over here rather than just a stickering. This is the cabin. Iveco, short for Industrial Vehicles Corporation, is an Italian manufacturer of trailers and transporters. They made this uh, transporter in the 2000s. This particular model variant was called Eurostar. And here's the cabin. Now this opens, as you can see here, this opens. So this is metal, this is metal. It's a little tough to open this, but uh, you don't have to be gentle about it. Go for it. And the only thing that's at risk of breaking is probably your finger but uh, nicely made i like it opens that way and again solid this is metal completely metal and i like that this is plastic but uh, uh, it's solid where it needs to be that's how it looks on the underside there's a spare wheel here rubber again nice now again another drawback in this is uh, i felt the finishing of the Headlamps could have been a little better. As you can see, the plastic is a little out of place. The inside stickering is uh, is a little bit torn. So, like I said, uh, this is hand finished. So you can excuse some of these little uh, errors they have made. I'd also like to have seen plastic, uh, you know, wipers on the windshield over here. Um, but otherwise, I really like this as well. Now, there. That's how you put it back. Right, so on to pricing and sourcing. Source first, I got this again from scalemodelcart.com. Um, it was available there for a little over about $180. And um, this model, particular model is out of production by old model. And so it's only available on eBay. I found a couple of resellers selling it there online for about $190 to $200. Now, uh, like I said, there aren't too many Ferrari transporters out there. For my Indian viewers, Scale Model Car does have another Ferrari transporter. It's a Fiat. It's not an Iveco. It's a Fiat. And again, lovely model. It's again by old model. So metal, metal, hand finished, unique model. And uh, but that is from a different generation. It's from the 76, uh, uh, you know, period, Niki Lauda, Ferrari. So a lovely period again. If you love uh, Ferrari, you love transporters, go ahead and pick it up. It's available for about 170 odd dollars. And uh, yes. So that brings me to the end of this review. Uh, thank you again and you guys have a good one. Mm -hmm.